Y'all ready to shop? <laughs> Till we drop. Okay, no. <laughs> with no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Welcome back to Twistmas, everybody. This is gonna be like a fun video that I've never tried before. I don't think I've ever done a video in this style, but we're gonna be sitting down together, quite literally, right here on my desktop, and we're gonna be shopping for Christmas presents. Not only for my loved ones, but I might spoil myself a little bit in there as well, and we'll do like a little. What does Taylor want for Christmas section? This is also my like warning if any family members are watching this video. If you think you might be somebody that I'm shopping for, just log off. Not the video for you. We don't want no spoilers. Christmas morning is meant to be filled with surprises. Santa's always watching, all right? Also sorry, like the hair is wet and then we're on that stage where it's still mainly wet but it's drying so it's frizzing. I hope it doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in person, but I'm sure it's like 12 times worse. But it's fine, tis the season. Speaking of tis the season, I've never done this on camera before, but I thought it might be kind of fun if I mixed myself a little holiday drink. <laughs> woo woo! Also, this is my Christmas sweater for the day. This might be my favorite sweater of all time. Like, it is the perfect combination of a mock neck, which is my favorite type of shirt, with like the beautiful design that makes it so Twistmasy and fun and comfortable. Comfort is definitely like top tier. Some Christmas sweaters, not that comfy. Shoulder pads, itchy material, bells, whistles. This one, top notch. Yeah! When I was at the store yesterday, I bought myself almond milk eggnog because <laughs> lactose problems. Can I reach those glasses without falling? Uh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ling, ling, ling. One of my good friend's moms showed me this drink maybe like two years ago now and now it's become one of my favorite things to drink during the holidays. This is, why am I doing this? I don't know. Anyways, it's just a splash of eggnog, however much you want, and then a floater of brown sugar bourbon on top. Most people don't really love brown sugar bourbon because it's so sweet, but I absolutely don't like bourbon, so something like this is like, so perfect for me. And you just do like a small little splash. I don't know why I decided to stir this with a spoon, but here we are. Welcome to Twistmas. And if you want to be extra fancy, we top her off with a little nutmeg. I'm a little mixologist over here. Ah, oh! gorgeous. Cheers. Now we're ready. <laughs> you and me, let's go. All right, who do we shop for? First. I'm gonna say let's go to Lululemon first. One of my sisters, she works in a hospital. Thank you to all first responders. Thank you to everybody in the medical field. And she loves wearing long sleeve shirts like compression, dry fit, that sort of thing underneath her scrubs. And she had requested I search the Lululemon website, which could be a pretty penny. So we'll, we, we'll see. I feel like I always turn on like seven too many filters and then I'm left with zero options. Is it that hard to find the exact thing that you want? Apparently. Now this is really stinking cute. I mean, did I not just talk about how much I love a mock neck? But for $78, er? Also, I don't imagine that a crop top is going to be very advantageous underneath her figs. But like, oh my gosh, how cute is this? You know, it would keep her warm in those chilly hospitals. Hang on, I saw the word ribbed and I must click. Oh, it's kind of like a waffle knit, I guess. I am such a sucker for literally anything ribbed. Like you say ribbed, I say put it in my cart. I love like a, this plum color, kind of that magenta vibe. This doesn't look too loose, but I know her and she would not want anything to be anything other than like form fitting underneath like the flowing scrub. It does say it's called hold tight, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. Could be a good option, $68. A $10 discount from that last top. I kind of like the gray, and I do know she wears a lot of blue and black. Knowing her, she would want black. Here's the thing, would gray show sweat? Yes, likely. So the smart option is white, could get dirty. Cassis, Casis, I like that one. I like that a lot. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it in the cart and then I come back to it. My car is like my, my placeholder because otherwise Taylor will forget. Okay, that kind of might be my only option. Although just like a quick shout out for how freaking adorable this 
high neck tank top is. Oh, there are just some things. I think as I've gotten older, I've realized like what things compliment me best. Not like I'm trying to toot my own horn or something, but I love a high neck. They're so cute. And look at that back. Okay, I did mention there might be a thing or two in here for me. This is the kind of thing that I feel like is the transition between not wearing a cotton t-shirt to the gym and not wearing a sports bra. Taylor's somewhere in this category, almost. Oh, wait, the mold wine. Now, if that is not tis the season, I don't know what is. That is adorable. I love that color. Oh my holiday. Oh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm also gonna look at the men's section because Keith absolutely loves Lululemon and he can wear this to work, he can feel comfortable and their stuff, I almost think that their men's section is better than the women's. Like they have such good staples and hoodies and pretty jealous. <gasps> Would Keith wear a fanny pack? Honestly, he's, we're just gonna be blunt. He's not cool enough. So maybe next year, <laughs> love you. I mean, he would love these joggers, but $128, I can't fathom. I just, I, 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 I try and lower my price range and no results. <laughs> okay, kind of debating between this green, I love green, or this one, which is kind of like this tie dye pink, and that's pretty chic. I don't know why I'm always, I always succumb to the comments. I always go to the reviews, even though in my lifetime, I've probably left two. Probably best Lulu hoodie so far, blah, blah, blah. This one takes the prize. They got the Black Friday deal. Jealous, very nice, but beware. These hoodies are absolutely premium and nicer in a person than what I expected. But people should know it's not all loose and baggy. This is not a very warm hoodie. You know what, that's fine though. I'm not, I'm not turned off by that because I think, first of all, Keith is not training in this. Second of all, it still looks good high quality. Oof, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought it was cheaper. I just saw the price tag, I'm done. I'm out, goodbye. Huh. Maybe I should just go somewhere else. Ooh, honestly, I do have a great idea. I have always wanted to get Keith something from Gym Plus Coffee. Dun, 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 dun. Gym Plus Coffee was a brand that I worked with over the summer and ever since I tried their stuff, I have become obsessed, like absolutely obsessed. Every time I wear anything from them, I get a compliment. I'm not even kidding you. So comfortable, so stylish, and it just feels luxe, high quality. Sierra Fierce hoodie in oat. Love that color. Like you don't often see that kind of cool color. Love that. I also feel like that's very in right now. I don't know if he's a very, like I don't know if he, how much he would wear brown, but I love it. And isn't that what matters? <laughs> I'm so kidding. Ooh, that's cool. Look at this fleece. Love a fleece. Midnight Navy. Ah, look at that. A fleece crew. I can add to the cart. Now that is cool. This might be the one. I am obsessed with the color of it. And this one might be like taking the cake. Look how cool. Like it is just the highest quality. And I, I, I'm not just bragging about this because I worked with them. Like I genuinely am so obsessed. I think we might go for this. Like, I mean, they have a matching woman's fleece. Do I buy myself the same one? Okay, I feel like it's kind of bad of me if I buy myself the exact same thing that I buy him. So I will not buy that, but I will add my favorite sports bra to the cart, especially because I have always been inclined to buy leggings. And now that I'm like trying to build confidence, go out of my comfort zone, I want to be able to feel more confident in the clothes that I'm purchasing. And that starts with the tops that I'm wearing to the gym. So if I know something that I love and I feel so good in, why not buy it in like seven colors? Excessive, but you get the point. Let's go. Gian, no, ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 Woo! Oh my God, that was so awesome. I feel like I am kind of sad that I do have to do so many online purchases this year, but I cannot tell you how many times I've gone into the stores to find absolutely no luck. And it just becomes so frustrating. It's like, why did I even bother going to the mall? There's absolutely no inventory and it's just, it's sad. Okay, I know my sister-in-law wanted some like skims or like skims of the sort, comfies, pajamas, like that sort of thing. Oh God, that is cute. They have a high neck ribbed bralette that looks 
adorable. I'm gonna go over to Aerie actually. Aerie has the cutest bathing suits, leggings, sports bras, and they're, I feel like they're always kind of running like at least a mini sale. This is like definitely by far, I would say they're one of the most popular styles with this crossover at the top. Like, first of all, so flattering. Second of all, so stinking cute. I actually might get these for one of my best friends because I feel like it's, it's very her and it's so cute. And you really, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on this, but I feel like you can't normally go wrong <laughs> for things like this. And she and I have such similar style. We're always like closet swapping. This is really stinking cute. The sweat everyday cozy mock neck sweatshirt. You know, there's probably like some phrase about shopping for other people where you're secretly also like loving it yourself. I don't want to shop like that. That means I'm a bad gift giver, but these are really stinking cute. Like it looks really cozy. I just hope it like actually looks nice in person, you know, some things just don't have like the best hanger appeal. She looks so good in blue. Oh, these are adorable. Oh my gosh, look how stinking cute. Velour high-waisted flare pan. Are you kidding me? Oh, I would absolutely eat those up. Honestly, I'm just gonna go with the leggings right now because I'm not a huge fan of the sweatshirt now looking back and I'd rather get her one thing from here, maybe look around buy some more dun 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 proceed to check out i love shopping do 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 yes yes getting gifts buying things for people you love yeah 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 all right my other sister i didn't forget about you actually she's like my literal biggest fan so I feel like i should do a lot for her <laughs> she loves like very preppy clothes like kind of vineyard vines on blast. This is her website, Tucker Nook. I had never heard this word before in my life. You know what you do? Like you text your mom, you're like, what does sister want for Christmas? They send you here and you just oblige. That is so cute. That whole outfit. Oh, oh my God. All of this stuff is actually pretty adorable. It's so not me, it's so her. These dresses are so cute. Like I'm obsessed with this dress right here. Oh my goodness. Look how well they styled her. This is, this is cute. And they have it in black. I think the forest green though is this. Oh, they have it in navy. She does look good in navy. Oh my golly. If I were her, what would I get? If I were her, I'd probably get the navy. Although I think the green is cuter, but we've seen how we need to not shop for ourselves. So we're gonna go with the navy. Pre-order, what in the preppy is this? Actually, just like a fun shout out, I got her what I believe is the best birthday gift. It came as a recommendation from my friend Olivia and it's this store called the Shaggy Paw and they take photos of your dog and they recreate them and then embroider them on like sweatshirts and t-shirts, hoodies. It is the absolute cutest thing and I think it's such a good gift. It did take obviously like some time for her to actually make it. You send in photos and they do like the whole little process. So it probably took maybe six to seven weeks in total for the gift to arrive. So it could be a bit late if you're like needing something for Christmas morning, but a great gift to look into. And I feel like she was so happy with it, hopefully. And it like put the biggest smile on her face. So cute. And I love supporting small businesses like that. I'm getting her that dress. It is so cute and I feel like she's gonna totally rock it. Tucker me up, tucker knock. It almost feels like a bad word, doesn't it? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Are we out of the woods? I did Lululemon, Gym Plus Coffee, Airy, tucker knock. I was shopping, here. I was shopping for myself for Black Friday. I was cruising the website, that is Nordstrom.com, and I wanted this beanie so stinking badly it doesn't even wow well, you can't even see it anymore are you kidding of course i was like you know what no i'm just gonna wait maybe somebody can gift it to me how cute is that does that not scream taylor i'm sure i could like google it or something but i'm so sad i thought it was adorable that just goes to show you like don't you be waiting around you buy those things if you like something you treat yourself as like a little perusing, we can look at my Nordstrom wish list. These are some of the things that I favorited and I was just looking at, like kind of scrolling, saw it, liked it, or I have been wanting. A lot of it is shoes, ironically. I have been wanting platform Converse for what I feel like is the longest time. I've always loved Converse, like they're my favorite shoes ever and I think that the platforms are adorable. Absolutely love 
love, 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 and I love the white, and I love the black. Vans, classic sneaker, but the checkerboard, I think it's so cute. I swear I used to own these, but isn't that how trends work? Like now I want them again. I thought this bodysuit was gorgeous. I love this color, cherry chai. It's ruched, and I think bodysuits are so fun and flattering. And surprisingly, it's from Free People and it's $68. Normally I feel like their clothes are $668. So a possibility, um, but sometimes I'm like disappointed with their quality, so we shall see. Truly, I've been wanting like white Doc Martens for forever. I don't know why I always just like put it off. I feel like at that point, like just invest in the shoes that I want. I love Doc Martens, they last you like 90 years. They probably will live longer than me. <laughs> Uggs, chestnut, suede, I think they're cute, we'll see. Some of these have been here for like forever. Like I've had these Supergas on here, I think for like two years, but I have Air Force Ones, so like why buy a shoe that looks almost identical? I say as I'm staring at the platform white Converse. However, something about them I just like because I have a wide foot, so I think the small laces will make me feel less self-conscious because my foot is so ugly. I do have these in white and I'm obsessed with them. I wear them pretty much every single day of the summer and I think a black pair would be another smart investment. Birkenstocks till the day I die, baby. And look at that. I knew this would happen. I've had like three sips, but cheers to our first ever, hopefully successful holiday shopping together. Like this is so cute and fun. I'm sorry if I got so boring to just stare at me in that angle for forever on end, but I saw one of these videos before and I was pretty inspired by it and I always thought, why not give it a try? You know, could be kind of cute, could be kind of fun. Let me know if there's something that is just rising to the top of your wish list this holiday season. Obviously, we did our fitness wish list earlier in Twistmas. Wow, these are a lot of very twisty words. I'm like, my tongue is getting trapped. However, I will have, I think, one more video where I talk about more of my things on my wish list, maybe some last minute shopping items. So if there's things that you're like, don't miss out on this deal or just something that you think everybody should have, let me know. I'm accidentally pushing my tripod down. There we go. Okay, love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I almost forgot our charity of the day. Holy guacamole. Today's charity spotlight is Camp Sunshine, which is located in Maine in the United States. It is a camp that supports children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. And it actually has the distinction of being the only program that supports not only the child that is suffering through the illness, but also the impact that it has on every single immediate family member, which I think is so beyond remarkable. They host retreats throughout the entirety of the year. The program is free of charge to families and also includes on-site medical support. And throughout the retreat, Camp Sunshine provides a combination of respite, recreation, and support while also enabling hope and promoting joy for children and their families. They also offer a bereavement session that is for families who have experienced the death of a child from a supported illness. And this kind of inclusive program is so beyond important because it helps the families build their relationships stronger or rebuild their relationships throughout the entirety of these retreats and also bond with other families who are going through the exact same struggle, which is such an anomaly. All of the donations for Camp Sunshine go to ensuring that this camp stays free for all of the families and all of its members. They also have a wish list, which I can provide in the description box as well, but it has everything from AAA batteries to buttons to pipe cleaners, crayons, superhero masks. So if that's something that you love doing, I know that's something my mom loves doing. Every time she goes to the store, she normally grabs a few extra things to donate to maybe a local homeless shelter, a rescue mission, something like that. Or or maybe if you like you happen to live in Maine and you can stop by and volunteer, I'm sure that would be absolutely amazing. I loved this one. I thought it was really neat. They also have a perfect score on Charity Navigator, which means that anytime that you're giving to them, you're giving with confidence. Anywho, love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the Christmas sweater, all of the Christmas shopping, and another video to round out almost our first full week of Twistmas, which is wild. How are we already progressing this far into the madness? I hope that you're having as much fun as I am. Genuinely, I think I said this on my Instagram story the other day. I have felt so alive again when making content for Twistmas. And right now I just feel so happy. And every time I'm filming, it makes me more joyous than the last. And I'm just having the best time. And I hope that you're having a good time too. I hope today that maybe you stepped into 21. And if you did, tag me on Instagram. You can still use the hashtag step into 21. Tag me in your stories and then message me or something because sometimes Instagram doesn't always notify me. But tag me, tag me, tag me. I'll repost it to my story. Keep it up, keep up your movement. I know that you're doing great things. I barely moved like at all today. So maybe I should get up and do some 
some steps with you as I say goodbye. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. You don't have to make it that dramatic, but all movement is good movement and it is a blessing to move our bodies to begin with. So be thankful, be grateful today. I love you all so stinking much. Thank you so much for watching. Guess what? I'll see you tomorrow. I love saying that. <laughs>